Fuck Watch Mojo. This is my top 10 list, bitch. <laughs> The Chernabog! This guy needs a redemption so fucking bad. They really screwed this guy over in the first Kingdom Hearts and in Dream Drop Distance. Oh my god, he is one of my favorite Disney villains. He doesn't even really do shit, but he's just so fucking cool looking. I mean, look, he can rise an army from the dead! Why didn't they do that? Why am I just flying around smacking him with my Keyblade? Uh, he really needs a redemption. I want him to crawl out of Bald Mountain and just chase you. Chase you till you fall and you beat the shit out of yourself. I don't know. He is one of the coolest guys, and he really needs a redemption. Um, I kind of like the flying battle, though, but, but still, uh, we need to see him again. The motherfucking Shadow Man. He has some of the coolest powers. He's actually one of the scariest villains just because of what he can do. Uh, he can talk and summon people from the other side. Now, I think this gives us a really cool opportunity to see some of the scariest and actually most powerful Heartless that the game has to offer. Uh, I mean, look at this. Look at this shitty-ass top hat. Look at these guys. Imagine them as Heartless. I mean, it's, it's an obvious choice to go with him. Uh, I, I would really like to see him in the next game. The Headless Horseman. Um, another one of the scariest Disney villains that they have to offer. Um, I don't see him being a main you know, boss fight, though. Maybe he was sent by another villain, either in the beginning or towards the end of the game. Maybe he'd be like a guardian, kind of like what the Chernobyl was in Kingdom Hearts 1. Um, but again, he's really terrifying. Uh, he doesn't even need Heartless to help him fight. Uh, I think like a moving battle like this, like the, this clip is cool. Um, God damn, I'd be pissed if somebody was breathing out my fucking neck like that. God damn. Tell me what you young bitches know about Murloc. Murloc from one of the most underrated Disney movies of all time. He turns into a fucking griffin. What? He turns into a griffin. Oh my God. Why are we not fighting him? Why do we not have an aerial battle fighting a fucking Griffin Murloc? Holy shit. He's also a sorcerer. He can do powers and shit. He's going to be a hard boss. He's going to be a cool boss and a fun boss to fight. Fuck you, Square Enix. You should have done this shit. God damn it. Kids my age would appreciate it. All right, next we got Demona, Demona, whatever the fuck her name is. She's cool as shit. The Gargoyles, they're cool as shit. Okay, uh, maybe it's just the 90s kid in me wanting to see this. Um, but I think that Square Enix would really actually benefit from having these characters because people who grew up watching this show are playing this fucking game. Um, it's gonna add a cool, dark, you know, aspect to it. I think it's a great idea to have them in it. Especially this bitch. Look at that. God damn. Pointy ass ears and shit. Like Link. Hate on me all you fucking want. I think they will be a cool boss fight. They're gonna be a funny ass boss fight. And imagine after you whoop their ass, you get a, a fucking keyblade that's like modeled after their ugly ass book. That's cool. Again, it might be the 90s kid to be talking, but I think also having him as, as an ally would help. And also, you can avenge Beaks the cat. Rest in peace, my nigga Beaks. Fuck these ugly ass bitches. I would love to fight them. Uh, this could be cool. Plus, they're in Disney World now, I think, on Halloween, so who knows? WHAT DO Y'ALL KNOW ABOUT THE HORN KING THOUGH?! Oh my god! Some of the most underrated Disney villains include the Horn King. He's from the Black Cauldron, for those of you dipshits that don't know. This wonderful movie. Um, he's terrifying. He can also summon an army from the dead when he gets his hands on the Black Cauldron. That's a cool little story point. Um, he's gonna be a very hard foe if they include him. I really doubt it. it makes me sad, but... Still, look at those bony-ass fingers. Goddamn. Okay, Gaston is a classic Disney villain that deserves to be in this game along with the other characters from his movie. I mean, his characters are in it, but he's not in it. Um, he's gonna be kind of like Clayton, uh, except hopefully not as weak and stupid and gay. Um, he can fight, he can shoot, um, he's gonna be an annoying boss, probably one you'll see earlier, but he, he really does deserve to be in Kingdom Hearts. I don't see why not. Okay, again, before you say anything, picture this. You have a boss fight against Stromboli, who controls Heartless, and these Heartless have inhabited the fucking puppets. That is scary as shit. That's nightmare material. Uh, I'd be scared to fight this guy uh, just for that reason. He comes out with that big ass knife and tries to chop your fucking limbs off and shit. Oh my god, it's gonna be so dark and twisted. Uh, I think that'd be a great boss fight. And having like in an enclosed space where it's dark and the puppets scare the shit out of you, it'd be cool. And finally, 
Jafar's ugly ass. Oh my god, was he so easy and pathetic in the first Kingdom Hearts. He really needs a redemption, just like the Bog. Um, he needs a third form, which is this goddamn snake! That's why I included this clip. The snake is the coolest thing that he can do. Uh, the genie part was cool, but the snake, I mean, he's gonna be scary. He's gonna be like that fucking Hydra, whatever the fuck that was, that you fight in Olympus uh, in the second Kingdom Hearts. All right, so that was my top 10 villains I'd like to see in Kingdom Hearts 3 list. Uh, if I missed anybody you think would be cool, go ahead and just leave it in the comments. I'd love to read them. Always open to new ideas. But anyways, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. And also subscribe to our home channel, The Gallery Network. And check me out under the Chubby Pictures section. Uh, I'm a filmmaker, so go ahead and check out our short films that we got up already. Uh, other than that, until next time with another top 10 list or a rage quit video game session, I'm Joel Franco.